Hi, my name is Joelle Smith and I would like to become a doctor. Can you guide me through the necessary steps? Sure. So you want to be a doctor? Well becoming a doctor will be the most difficult and rewarding thing to do, if that is what you're motivated to do. If you are seeking big money, find something else to do right now. Here's the reality and I'm sorry I will not sugarcoat it. You will study until you are driven to the point of insanity and you will study like a machine. It will sound like a ton of work to you right now, but until you have experienced university life, it will be a hard concept to grasp doing that much homework. The key to success is motivation and a passion for the career. After you finish high school you will need to get into a pre-medical program at a university. Many people in your classes will quit the pre-medical program after they take organic chemistry. When you are in a pre-medical program, do not think that you are guaranteed to become a doctor because this is the beginning. You will need to maintain about a 3.5 GPA at worst. Medical school is very competitive and you need to get the best grades you can get. How do you get these grades? Well often you will leave home at 8 a.m. and not come home until they kick you out of the library. You will have to do what it takes to stay on top. You will want to be doing research with a professor being involved in your school, being an all-around good person. Medical school is not easy to get into. You will have to be studying for the McAT Medical College Admission Test and applying to medical school. The McAT is a standardized test that redresses all of the information you learned in the past four years on your reading and writing skills. You will need to do machine like studying for 12 hours straight. You have to do the best you could do to stay on top there are only a handful of medical schools available and thousands of people like you trying to stay on top. They do not want four years of university gone to waste. And if you don't make the requirements to get into medical school you won't be a doctor and you won't accomplish your dream. And if you are lucky you will get dumped into a D.O. school or a Caribbean school. So when you are in pre-med I advise you do not get distracted because you may end up in failure. There will be some many people ready to help you make your university experience the most successful. If you know how to work hard, you can do it and succeed. So you got into medical school. Congratulations just four more years until you will become a doctor. It has only just begun. It's time to learn more information than you did in four years of university in less than two years. Your first two years are mostly class work. This is when you study until the point of insanity. This is when you study like never before, challenge your brain into the limits. You will have to cram in four years of information into your brain in less than two years. And the best part is that you cannot forget this information. It will come back and haunt you for the rest of your life. If you for, if you forget this information and decide never to go back and revise, you are dead in the water. After your tedious studying and painful classes you still need clinical experience. You still need to know how to act like a doctor. You will have to take classes in a hospital. This will account for two years. This is where you actually start to feel like a doctor. Sometimes you will be put into a rotation where you don't sleep for 32 hours and do nothing, but work. But you love it, and you will survive. You will have to pick a specialty of your choice. And when you do, then you had just graduated medical school. You graduated medical school and you have your license. But you are still not a professional doctor. You will need to do residency. Residency is the final blow. This is when you actually start to work like a doctor. And you will work as a doctor with supervisors breathing behind your neck. The pay will not be that of a doctor yet. This is where all of you learn goes into practice. Wow. You cannot afford to forget information from medical school, because your supervisors will yell at you and some of them do payment deductions. Depending on what you chose for a specialty, this will be your life for three to seven years. It will be very hard work. Some weeks you will work for 80-90 hours or maybe more. Becoming a doctor is not easy and it requires a lot of your time. In fact you will feel like college has taken over your life. Right now. You have to make sure you develop those study habits you do not want to be experimenting ways to study in a university. You have to train your body to study for long periods of time and keep going. 
you have to be a machine and you have to be ready to attack those exams. Nothing matters more in university other than your grades. In medical school you better get good grades or you are dropped. There are many people who have been rejected to medical school. They only accept you if you are the energetic hard worker. And nowadays medical school is extremely hard to get into and it gets harder year after year. The acceptance rate of many medical schools is low. You are in competition with thousands of other people in your position. You will have to be doing something that distinguishes you from other people. Maybe you should be doing volunteering in another place rather than the ER. Go to for example a bioengineering field. They will think that you are interested in the entire field of medicine. Becoming a doctor is one of the hardest things you could do, but it is not impossible. You could still do it, if you truly love medicine and you truly want to be a doctor. But if you are ever let down, focus on your main goal. Don't let anyone bring your concentration down. Every man is responsible for himself. And if you want to be a doctor and you truly love it there is nothing stopping you. Think about this, four years in a university, four years in medical school, three to seven years in residency. This is more school than you have done already. So you have got to want medicine more than you want the air. If you want to do IT. Well thank you for the information. But I do think this is too much to be become a doctor. I'm not barely interested to do it. I just thought the pay was good. You made it almost seem impossible to be a doctor. It's not impossible, it just requires a ton of work. Bye.